Today my, my topic is uh, just uh, you know to, to remind the Christians that when a Muslim he speak to you you need to remember that you are speaking to a professional idiot I'm not insulting and I will prove it very easy all of you Christians you notice that the first thing a Muslim he will do the first thing a Muslim he will do is to accuse you of corrupting the Injil which is supposedly the gospel of Jesus Christ which is supposedly given to Isa by Allah now right away Christians what they do they start arguing with the Muslim Abdul oh no 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 you are wrong and then he will say to you in the uh, the, in the, uh, uh, the most older manuscript we don't find this verse there and we don't find that verse there and how you explain that and then the Christian he start refuting him and showing him that he is lying or making things up etc so what I want to do I want you to think differently Christians and don't fail into the trap of the devil of the Abdul Abdul are little devils uh, they eat the wrong food they think with the wrong words and that not because they read it from right to left uh, no but because uh, their mentality is it's not exist you see a Muslim he's the same as a copy when we talk about uh, as an example if you, if you talk about virus if you have one billion virus or one virus all of them they will be exactly the same and you will notice all Muslims don't even read what they are posting they just copy and paste from each other like you will see one Muslim 40 years ago he said show me where Jesus said I'm God all Muslims repeat the same question it doesn't matter how many verses you show them they will ask you the same question again and he will go the same person you just answered him yesterday he meets second Christian he will say to him show me where Jesus said I am God worship me <clears throat> those are uh, the children of the devil and they are not there to debate you remember when Christians they came to Muhammad to debate him and they asked him for a debate what Muhammad did he said he said to them bring your uh, women I bring my women bring your children I bring my children's and let us invoke God to curse the one is lying so even their prophet their best man is stupid to the point you think that debating is about cursing their prophet never debate he curse and he assume that when someone is debating him is lying because simply he's a liar because the whole idea you know if a Muslim uh, speak about his book and says um, you know my book says etc and I believe in that I don't blame him I'm not going to say you are lying I'm going to say you are wrong but Muslims they don't go by these rules that's why I call them stupid people as an example where in the whole Islamic books it says that Paul is the one who corrupt the Bible if we ask them where do you get this from they have no idea I challenge the Muslims it's a challenge to tell me where you got that Paul is the one who corrupt the Bible actually in the same time we show them from Ibn Kathir al qurtubi al tabari many Islamic books scholars big scholars from Muslims saying that Paul was a great messenger of God but Muslims today they copy the that and you know they are copy paste those people they don't really read they don't even know the religion and the funny they come to you to teach you your book now today uh, I'm looking at uh, YouTube and I found this Abdul uh, comment uh, in my uh, in my uh, video he said that uh, the verses about Jesus said I said to you like uh, when, when they tried to stone the, the, the women I, I, Jesus he said to them uh, if any of you did not commit adultery stone her he's saying that this is not exist and many scholars they say that uh, you know Abdul let us say for the sake of argument you are right just for the sake of argument and let us say for the sake of argument you made the whole point of saying that the Bible is corrupt for the sake of argument but that proved to me that Islam is a stupid religion 
Why? Because simply the Quran says that Allah is the one who sent the book. And not only that. Allah, he sent the book to Jesus. And his name is the Injil. Alright? And the funny, the Quran says that the Quran is a pure Arabic. Is the Injil word an Arabic word? <laughs> anyway. Is the Torah an Arabic word? Anyway. Let it go, let it go. So, Allah, he sent the Injil and he sent the Torah to Moses. Now, what happened to the Torah and what happened to the Injil according to the Abdul? Both books are corrupt, brother. Uh oh, what happened? What happened is a bad story, brother. It's an amazing story. I will show you what happened. But before we go there, when a stupid Muslim, he said to you, he's trying and working hard to prove to you that the gospel of Jesus Christ is corrupt, he is simply exposing his false religion. Why? Because if Allah is the one who sent the gospel, as the verse here is saying, that means the book which was corrupt is the book of Allah. And as long as the Muslims agree that this is the book of Allah, well, Allah is screwed. Screw Allah. Muslim trying hard, working hard to prove to us that their God, Allah, he was screwed. He is so weak to the point a bunch of Jews and a bunch of Christians, they can change his words. Isn't it amazing? Like, you know, if someone argue with me and he is a Hindu or a Buddha, I understand. But someone, he believed that Allah is the one who sent the book and then he tried to convince me that the book of Allah is corrupt. That is the most stupid thing ever because that make me believe strongly that Allah cannot be the almighty God. The Muslim will say to you, Allah only protect the Quran. Oh, Allah selective. You see, Allah, he don't like the Torah. Allah do not like the gospel. He like the Quran. Yeah, well, you know, he's free. He can do whatever he want. See how stupid this idea? Same time, when a Muslim, he come to you and working hard to prove to you that your book is corrupt. He is again giving us a confirmation that Muslims do not read their book. And Muslims are stupid, illiterate like their prophet. And by the way, I don't believe Muhammad was illiterate. But however, this is what the Muslim says. We will go with it. Because read with me the verses I'm showing to you now, right now. The verse in the front of you is saying the following. <clears throat> and when there come to them, the Jews, a book, this, this Quran, from Allah, confirming what was, what is with them. Oh, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait. He is confirming what is with them. I thought the Torah is corrupt. I thought the Injil is corrupt. So the stupid Allah saying, I confirm what is with you, which is corrupt. Like, hello, Abdul, hello. This is why I say the word stupid. Many of you don't like me to say stupid, right? But I, ha I have to say it. Every Muslim is a stupid by birth. Like he's born stupid. His mouth is open. His boogers is coming. And he is believing that drinking camel urine will make you healthy. And drinking seven up is, is haram. If you call on your idiot saying that Allah is confirming what is between our hands. According to you, this is mean that the Bible until the sixth century after Jesus never been touched. Never been touched. And that destroyed the whole idea of Islam because Muslims, they say that the Prophet Muhammad, he came because the Bible is corrupt. So he have to, you know, to, uh, uh, to, to correct what happened. In fact, that's not what the Quran is saying. Again, Muslims are a stupid fool, the same as their prophet. You know, Muslims, 
you know, when they call Aisha the mother of the believers, this is telling us who they are. Aisha, the kid, is the mother of the believers. So who are they? They are a bunch of kids. Because Muhammad, he said in his Quran, I mean in the Hadith, sorry, he said, I've been sent to complete the good teaching. Like in here they say the perfect good uh, 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 character or, you know, uh, the fact Muhammad is trying to copy Jesus, saying, I came to complete, not to destroy. So when a Muslim, he say that what before Muhammad is destroyed and all the books before Muhammad is corrupt, that is a contradiction for the Quran itself, because as we are showing you in the front of your eyes, that their book saying it clearly, that he is sent confirming to what is between their hands. What is between your hand or same time you will notice something about the Quran. The Quran is uh, something very funny by the way. It's the same verse repeated over, 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 over because simply Muhammad he had nothing to say. Like, I never saw someone repeat the same words, sometimes exactly the same word, exactly, the same even sentence, word by word, will appear in many verses in the Quran. Why? Because Muhammad, he had nothing to say. But the important for us here, that when a Muslim, he says to you, that the Bible is corrupt, please, for God's sake, don't argue with him. Ask him, are you saying the Bible of Allah is corrupt? Just make it simple and you will see how he will put his tail between his legs and he'll run with the sound of a puppy. Because simply this is what he is saying to you. He is saying the book of his God, the pagan God of Islam, the God of the black stone who is going to talk in the judgment day, who have ears and eyes and tongue, who used to be white and by kissing it became a black, which means black is a sign of sin. That stone is the right hand of Allah. This is all the words of Muhammad. I did not even say one word from my own. The speaking God, he sent the book and his book always getting corrupt. And the funny, the Muslims today, they don't even have the book of Muhammad. The book we are reading right now in the front of us is called Mus'haf wa Uthman. It's not even called Quran. You speak to any Arab Muslim, ask him, is it true that it's called Mus'haf or Uthman? Mus'haf means pages. It's not even a book. It's a collection of pages. It is Mus'haf or Uthman. There was many Mus'haf and all of us, we know the story. Muhammad, he left with no book. Muslims, they start collecting books. And then there is many books and all of them, they are different from each other. So Uthman, he burned all the other books and even Muslims agree. Why he burned the other books? Because they are different from his book. Now, how Muslims can be sure that the book of Uthman is the correct one? They will say to you that uh, he is the Khalifa. He decided to do so. So what? There is people who they are very well known verses in the Quran and they are the one who collect the Quran. But their Quran is different from Uthman Quran. Why he burn it? Because simply it's different. So before you talk about other people corruption, read your stupid book, which is saying clearly that the book never be corrupted. Now before I finish, actually you know what, I don't have time uh, in this video. I'm going to make another video, the one after this one is going to be, what happened and how Allah gets screwed in his book corruption, which will, will show you how stupid Allah, or let us say Allah doesn't exist, the one who made the Quran. You know, the one who made the Quran, I think he was uh, like uh, one of those uh, vendors who, who sell uh, uh, barbecue in the street, uh, some places or sandwiches, and he decides suddenly to become a prophet. This is why whatever he say, it's very stupid, very funny, very dummy. So stay tuned with the coming video. And don't forget, visit our website, investigateislam.com to learn more. God bless.